Let's turn back the clock. Are you starting to relax now? Really relax. Good. Now I want you to close your eyes and listen to the ticking. Listen and relax. The darkness is warm and peaceful and you feel as if you want to sleep. You can still hear my voice, can't you, Jeannie? Yes. You will open your eyes when I count three, Jeannie. But you will be asleep and hearing my voice. One. We were just playing. What were you playing? Well, we were playing jump rope. Candied apples make me sick. They make my heart go two, four, six. Not because I'm dirty. Not because I'm clean. Just because I kissed the boy behind the magazine. Girls, girls, who's gonna fight? Here comes Jeannie with a fist on set. One, two, three, four, five. One, it's a fancy. You're it. Count to 100, not by five. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's all over, Jeannie. It's all over. Yes, we've turned the lights on. No more dark closets. <laughs> Puritan ethic really dies hard, doesn't it? You know, someday, someone's gonna put sex in its proper perspective. <laughs> you know, uh, it always frightened me. I never really liked it, you know? Well, it should have frightened you. You carried the guilt of being discovered and the horror of Ian's resulting death to your marriage bed. What a way to start a relationship. In your mind, Ian's death was directly related to sex. The recent death of your daughter triggered that association again. The result, nightmares. What about that cry? Oh, you know the answer to that. I know, but I heard it so clearly. What can be any clearer than the sound of your own voice? What about the nightmares? I hope they're over. No guarantees, right? Everyone has dreams. And my little girl? I guess she's really gone, eh? Jeannie, go home, love your husband, make another baby. I will, I promise. Mm -hmm. <laughs> still don't believe she's dead, do you? No, I do, really. In my mind, I do. Not in my heart.
I had another dream last night. Dr. Whalen was wrong. They didn't stop. Why don't we call him? That's okay. I can handle it. Where are you going? Stuff. I'm going to see Peggy Barton. You can start up again? Look it, I don't care if you believe me or not. I had a dream oh, the baby doctor. was alive, and I'm going to go help her. She was calling for my help. What do you want? Where is she? Who? The child. I want the child. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a liar. Look, lady, you're insane. Peggy, I want to know where she is. I want to know right now. Well, I don't want you in here, and I want you out. I'm not going to go anywhere until you tell me what you've done with her. Look, I don't know anything about your baby. The hell you don't! A baby died in the hospital that night. But it wasn't mine. It's yours. If you don't get out of here, I'm gonna call the police. Why don't you just call the police? And when you're talking to them, why don't you ask them where is Nurse Green? Would you just leave? Please leave! Your baby was switched with my baby by Nurse Green, and that's the way it happened, isn't it? No. No! Okay, you're gonna tell me the truth. You're gonna t tell me! You're gonna tell me the truth! And what is it? Tell me the truth! Oh, God! Just say it. Please, just say it. Look, I didn't want to do it. Oh. Tell me what happened. I knew when I saw you at the disco that you'd come back. Yeah, just tell me what happened. I didn't want to have a baby.